Hello and welcome to another practice session. This is a NAT type practice session where we are going to practice five NAT questions IIT jam style and at this last moment if you are wondering where to practice NAT question from this playlist would be super useful for you because alongside revision you should also focus on the NAT type of question because that is a real game changer. All of these questions are based on previous year analytics and question types so you can count on this playlist it would be really beneficial for you guys. Let me give you a quick shout out about a mock test which is happening in Unacademy which is India's biggest online learning platform. All you need to do is to register for this mock test and see where do you stand in an all India crowd. You can enroll for free and this is happening at 30th January 2022. The time is 11 am and it's a full scale 180 minutes examination. If you do substantially well you can win a Amazon voucher which is 65k that's a lot. You can use my code AP10 for registering uh, to this particular test and this is a free registration you don't need to be a sub plus subscriber all you need to do is download the app or go to the Unacademy site and the link is provided in the description you can just apply my code AP10 and register yourself for this examination so register right now alongside these kind of mock tests I have a bunch of videos and classes in Unacademy which are completely free and that would help you to learn the last moment tips and tricks for the IIT jam 2022 exam so if you are willing to look at that so click on the link which is provided in the description using my code ap10 you can uh, unlock these courses for free now let's resume back to the question answer solving but before that let me tell you that in a there is a republic day special offer and this is a six months free extension if you take a one year subscription or a two year subscription and if this subscription is taken in between January 25 to 27, then you can get a six months extension. By using a code AP10, you can get a 10% discount. Question number one says the length of DNA, which is 48.502 kilobase pair long from a bacteriophage lambda is going to be dash micron. So the length is uh, required to be calculated in micrometers. So how to go about this problem? You can pause this video and resume and check your answer whether it matches with mine or not. So it's very simple actually, it's basically a calculation, simple arithmetic. You know that the particular length in terms of base pair is 48,502, right? And the distance between two consecutive base pairs is 0.34 nanometers or 0.34 into 10 to the power minus nine meter. Then if you multiply these thing with uh, these two then you are going to get the result so for 48502 multiplied by 0.34 into 10 to the power minus 9 it would give you a 16.49 into 10 to the power 6 meter so 10 to the power minus 6 meter is actually micrometer so the correct answer here would be 16.49 that value is required question number two question number two says the net charge of the amino acid at ph3 will be dash so how to go about this question i'll tell you how but try to solve this question pause this video and match the answer the correct answer here would be one i'll tell you how so what you're going to do is look at this ph here and compare each of these points with respect to this ph and the information that you are going to remember is if ph is greater than pka then deprotonation would be happening now let's look at one by one all of these points so first of all, let's look at this particular situation. So here what would happen? Hydrogen would go out because pH is greater than pKa. A deprotonation would happen. There would be a net negative charge here. If you look at this particular region and this particular region, both these cases, you can see pH is less than pKa. So these sites would remain protonated. So now what we can see, we have plus one charge here plus one charge here and negative one charge here. So the net charge would be actually plus one, right? So this is a common pro forma for many type of questions. So you can remember this particular information that would be beneficial for you guys. Okay, then types of gamete that are produced by individuals with a genotype, capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, capital C, capital C, capital D, capital D is dash and that of capital A, small a, capital B, small b, capital C, small c, capital D, small d is dash. So this is a, again very common pro forma. Let me remind you the formula that you need to know to solve this kind of question. 
Here the correct answer would be 1 and 16. The formula that you need to know is type of gametes equal to 2 to the power n, where n is the number of heterozygous combinations. Look in the second case, there is n equal to 4, right? There are 4 individual heterozygous combinations. And in the first case, there is no combination. So obviously n equal to 0, 2 to the power 0 equal to 1, 2 to the power 4 equal to 16. This is the correct answer. Question number 4 says that Tm or temperature of melting for the following primer, your primer sequence is given and that is what? You need to know this particular formula to solve it. Okay, if you have solved it, try to match it. But otherwise, if you don't solve it, then remember this particular formula. Tm equal to 4 into G plus C plus 2 into A plus T. Plug in all the values, you would get your answer, which is 50. 50 is the correct melting temperature here. So all you need to do is to remember this particular formula. So all of these questions are designed in such a way that you get this particular information and you keep it, keep this information aside and remember it. Okay, if the frequency of an allele A is 0 0.0, uh, sorry, 0 0.25, dash will be the percentage of individual homozygous for allele A. So this question is from hardy Winberg equilibrium. You can clearly understand A equal to 0 0.25. 0 0.25 and that means your q is that so q square value would be 0 0.0625 and if you express that in percentage or multiply it with 100 it would be 6.25 percent here they ask the value in terms of percentage so it would be 6.25 so generally what mistake we do in these cases is we kind of plug in the value of 0 0.0625 that is also a correct interpretation but they want it in terms of percentage and not fraction so this is a common mistake that happens so remember these things you can rock this exam anyway you can get detailed notes and flashcards in my facebook page the link is provided in the mm, description click on the link and it you would get to the facebook page as usual don't forget to like share and subscribe you can follow me on patreon and support my channel and my courses are present in an academy. You can take them and get the benefit out of it. Thank you. See you in the next video.